Hey everybody, my name is Keisha and this is my channel Saving Greens Homestead and I know what you're gonna say. I know what you all are thinking. Didn't she say she was gonna clean that mess up? <laughs> the last video. <laughs> I did, but you guys, it has been hot. We've had heat warnings and heat alerts and um, excessive heat wave alerts and stuff and triple digits and it's just been crazy and even now it's still in the 90s so it's been hot and I have not wanted to get out here to do anything and by the time it don't even cool down at night <laughs> so you guys gonna have to cut me some slack <laughs> Anyways, you guys, I got some things that I want to harvest and I'm going to bring you along with me to show you some of the things that I'm harvesting and some of the things that are still growing, believe it or not, in this here garden. So let's go in and get started. Look at this. There's a Kiwano, Kiwano, or Kiwano melon in there. And there's a lot more of them in here. My husband found a whole bunch of them. <laughs> and I don't know, I, I keep having a hard time seeing them. But I know there's more. I know there's a lot more because he has the pictures to prove it. I'll just show you the photos that he took of it. Well, there's a lot more. And then I wanted to show you this. This is a volunteer ground cherry. I did not plant any ground cherries this season. And yet, here it is. I have a ground cherry. <laughs> oh, you guys, I just saw, looked down and saw the tiniest little hornworm. Where'd he go? I just saw him. I just don't remember where I saw him. Oh, here. Look at this. Little bitty tiny. You can't even see them because of the glare of the sun. Let me see. I'm going to have to pull them off. I need the scissors, son. Uh... I'm trying to see if I can break it off, I guess. Oh, there. No, never mind. There he is. Look how tiny that is. That's really tiny. You guys, I've never seen the hornworms in that that size. By the time I notice them, usually they're huge. <laughs> I've never seen them so little. It don't make them any cuter or less creepier, though. That part doesn't change. These are those lucid gem tomatoes. There's a few here that needs to be harvested, so we're going to get these harvested. Okay, so these are some more tomatoes that need to be harvested. Well, these look like they're already spent, but there's some back in this bed that look like they are still good. There's an onion head right there full of seeds. These seeds are ready to drop, and I'm going to let them drop, too. <laughs> there's a lot of tomatoes over here so we're gonna pick these okay go on ahead and pick those over there where I was just at I'm gonna get these on video and then we'll pick these go help your brother man There's a lot of tomatoes. I have to go on the other side. There's a watermelon. Butternut squash. Or some kind of squash. I'm going to figure out what kind of squash that is. 
There is a zucchini down in there and right here. There, there are tons of tomatoes that need to be harvested over here. This is Susie. And she's enjoying her prickly pears. And this is Thaddeus. Oh, you, there you go. That was a good chomp. This is stuff that should be natural to their diet, so they should really be enjoying this. Now, you guys, these are the culprits. You see him right there? They're all over all of my tomato plants right now just scarfing them down okay and here's some peppers that I'm gonna be harvesting too more hornworm damage Look at Mr. Saving Greens. He used the weed whacker and whacked all this down. And now you can't see the beets or anything in this bed again. It's all grass covered. Out of the bowl. Oh. Okay. Look how pretty these peppers are. And the red ones are the ones that are ripe. And then there's a yellow one back there in the back. We're gonna get that one. Along with those tomatoes. I think there's more tomatoes. There's some other stuff back there. I can't make out what everything is back there. And then some of this corn might still be okay to get. So I'm gonna try and, we're gonna try and get that too. These tomato plants are all crazy. There's a pumpkin right here, white pumpkin. I was supposed to harvest these kohlrabi right here, but I don't see kohlrabi anymore. I know they're in there. They're just being covered over by the tomatoes right now. Oh yeah. This one's a banana melon growing right here. All by itself. Oh wait, there's a oh, there's a canary yellow melon. It's not ripe yet, but it's there. I'm happy for that because that's my favorite melon. Mm. It's kind of hard to see from this side, but I'm gonna try and get you guys in there to see it. Okay cantaloupe just hanging from the tree here <laughs> go around You can take this one to the chickens. Look, another hornworm all over this other tomato plant. And then there's one back there, too. What? Just cut it at the stem and hold the stem and take it over to the chickens. Huh? I don't want to be anywhere near that thing. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. I'm going to look over here. All hornworm damage. Look at that. They just strip, oh, I see another one. They just strip all the stems and leaves. Look at these. 
The sunflowers are so pretty. I'll get them. But over here, guess what? More hornworm damage. <laughs> and we pulled a whole bunch off of here earlier. Look at that. And then guess what? Even more hornworm damage. Just empty stems like this. All of my tomato plants. Just hornworms galore everywhere. Look at this. But just now some of these I mean I don't get all the hornworms. Obviously, there's a lot of them. And during this time, that's when they thrive the most because there's just so many of them. And I don't find them all. But, so, I mean, I'm not hurting the, <laughs> the balance of uh, the hawk moth cycle or whatever just by protecting my stuff here. Because a lot of them go unnoticed and they survive to bring on another generation of hawk moth. But I do try and get as many as I can when I find them. I'm about to get this one. I don't know if you guys can see them right there. Bam, right there. <laughs> I'm about to get him and this other one that I saw. And, yeah, say bye-bye, Wormy. So, out here in the front, we're about to pick this ticker melon right here. Come cut this ticker melon. Come bring the scissors. Let me see. Maybe it'll just come off in my hand because they do do that sometimes. Oh, there we go. Mmm, it smells so good. So sweet. Here, Alanda, you can hold this one. Yes. <laughs> what is that? I don't know, just hold it. And what I'm happy about most is that there's more that are coming up on here. So, I've got the promise of a whole lot more. Oh, look at, there's one back here, too. And my Alanda really loved these, so. Okay, Devon, come get this one. Devon, come get this one. Get the scissors. So, I've got all these melons right here, and I just discovered another one back in that little gap there, but this one is ready. That one is ready. His tendril is dry. Okay, pick him up. I look how big that is. That's not super huge, but it's a decent size. And put that on the table. I'm thinking this one might be ready too. But it's hard to know. It doesn't seem like it's ready to fall off the stem. So I'm guessing maybe not then. <laughs> but this one is ready. This one, I can smell this one. It might be overly ready. I don't know what this is. Yeah, it's beyond ready. I don't know what this one was. But... Well, maybe it was going to be a cantaloupe, but it's no good. This one is no good. There's another cantaloupe down in there, though. And there's this other big honeydew melon right here. This one is big, too, but I don't think he's ready. He's on there pretty good so I don't know if this melon is ready 
Let me see. Is that melon ready? Huh? Is that melon ready? He look ready. <laughs> My sonny. Okay. And this melon is not ready yet still. I'm watching his tendril though. Let me make sure. It's starting to look like it's changing colors, but not yet. Okay, you guys, so this is what we ended up harvesting today. So, there will be a taste video coming up soon. So be ready for that. And you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. And as always, God bless.